Uppercut, uppercut, Sonic Boom! Well, hello there, humans of these earthlings. Hope you are wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too. Welcome back to Channel on Bush. And today's video is about airdrop weapons, or rather, the percentage chance that each airdrop weapon has of landing in a crate, because they are definitely not all the same. You are far more likely to get one particular weapon over another particular weapon. In some cases, nearly twice as likely to get that weapon. And I also want to try and guess like what the top, there's six of them. There's a Graza, a Mark 14, an MG3, an AWM, an AMR, and a FAMAS. Try and think of what you would rate the most likely to the least likely and see how you go. You want to stop the video now, check ahead later, do that. Uh, please, if you would also like the video and subscribe to the channel, that would help me tremendously as well. And if you want to become a patron, feature in the live streams and just play with me on the uh, on the weekly, then it's patreon.com forward slash the bush gut. Now, when I did this video, it was the idea of basically figuring out whether all the whinging that I've done over the years about there really aren't as many AWMs in crates as there are Mark 14s was correct. And I also wanted to see you know, what was the most common and what was the least common. And one of the funny things about this was that the way I felt during the the recording of the data, like hitting 120 crates, was not the way the data came out. The, and we'll talk more about that. And I'm also going to talk about what I would put in the crates instead of some stuff. Anyway, the most common, Mark 14 and Graza. This... This rang very true for me. Mark 14 and Graza was the most common flare drop for me, particularly. It was easily the most common flare drop. Mark 14, Graza, Mark 14, uh, MG3 was the other one that I felt like was really, really common. And they're both 7.62 weapons. The MG3 came in third and the Famous came in fourth. Now, I don't think this is a surprise that all your full autos get out of the way in the first four. But look at those first two numbers, nearly 20% each. And in fact, if I had to bet my life on it, I'd say they probably would be 20% in those numbers. The AMR came in next at 12.75%, which is well under all the other four before, you know, prior to it. But of course, the one that really ignited my interest in the first place, and the gun that I'm always looking for, is the AWM. And it was not a surprise to me to find the AWM was in a paltry 11% of the crates that I hit, which is one in 10 basically and that's a pretty low number and it's not really a surprise to us but it is a little bit disappointing that you've got guns up the top that get left in crates like the mark 14 and the famous and you've got the awm which everyone wants to run now in the past going and hitting a crate was the way forward because you always got level three armor but it's so much easier than it used to be to get level three armor now you have flare guns you have shops and you have, if you play event modes and things, hyper increased loot. It's both diminished the value of bolt action well drop snipers and made crates less exciting to go for. I find a lot more unlooted crates these days and people that don't really push crates. Now, obviously I've got 120 crates, so I do a lot of crate pushing and I get a lot of crate weapons. Let's talk about what I'd like to see. Number one, there are two weapons that I feel are ideally suited to be in a crate that are not in a crate now. One is the DBS and the other is the Mini-14. Uh, and I know a lot of people out there are desperately unhappy at the idea of the Mini-14 going in a crate. And even more would be unhappy about the idea of the DBS going in a crate. But hear me out before you go crazy, right? It's not that they wouldn't be in the game. It's just that weapons that have been let's be blunt, just become totally overpowered. The Mini-14 particularly has been buffed and buffed again in an attempt to remove the M416 meta. And if recent competitive games are anything to go by, they've succeeded. The Mini-14 is bloody everywhere. And because it's such an effective weapon um, and used so often, it's like it would be ideal as a crate weapon. It's an Excellent, excellent long-range DMR. Um, and the DBS, I mean, really, do we even have to talk about it? It's such a cancerous weapon. It's so toxic in the way it works within the gameplay. Like, it's hard enough using an 
Oh, it's it's like bad enough a normal shotgun being being able to do this like it, coming from TPP peaking with a desync advantage it's like it's the most ridiculous amount of reward for the least amount of effort that gun honest to god this is an over under an over under does two shots and then it has to go through a full reload and it does another two shots and a full reload the DBS just fires an over under shell constantly bang 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 and it can do six to seven rounds i think it might even be eight in the time it takes an over under to do two that is clearly clearly an overpowered shotgun um and it was in a crate originally since it was taken out the famous was put in i don't know like the way they're balanced crates with the m249 going out of a crate uh, into a crate and out of a crate. The M24 was originally in a crate. Like, the the balance on crates, like the Mini 14, look at this thing. This is, it's ridiculous. Uh, and the new full auto mod for the Mini 14 is just silly. It's It makes the gun worse. It's actually better without the full auto mod than it is with the full auto mod. So those are the crate numbers. Um, I found it so interesting that running Famous felt like running famous feels terrible it's it's just a gun without a home it should be a world drop weapon the org was a much better crate weapon than the famous was and this is just contributing to the power creep now the org is just an outstanding world drop weapon and is getting constantly run by everyone and the famous is just in a crate and sitting there on its own because no one wants to run it I used to find Mark 14s in crates all the time. I still do. I now find so many Famuses in crates. It's it's taken the Mark 14s title as most left behind weapon on the battlefield. It was a brave experiment, but I mean, everyone's looking for this gun here, the AWM, and you run across a Famus. Now, is it the best CQC weapon in game? No. It's good. Is it better than the UMP? No, because it doesn't have the same kind of hip fire as the UMP. Um, is it better at spraying than an M416? Nope. Does it have a high magazine size? No. Nope. It actually fires too fast to be an effective sprayer. That 30 round clip at that kind of rate of fire is just far too quick. So you end up a, with a weapon that's just the middle of the road for nothing. And honestly, people are too clever. People have figured out the most, you know, useful loadouts in the game. And they're they're not famous related the famous is such a singular weapon that is ideal in such singular situations that it just doesn't really rate it's also interesting to me that i've never seen these crate numbers anywhere else and no one's really taken the time to run this stuff i find this kind of stuff fascinating and if you too like this kind of stuff or you have an idea of stuff that you'd like to know about uh like this crate weapon stuff then let me know and I'll make a video on it. That's what I do. Just leave a comment below with your message and what you think would be interesting to find out. And we might actually crunch the numbers on that data and see how it rumbles. Uh, there's the Christmas holidays coming up for me here um, with the family. We're going to be doing a lot of time at the beach, but I'm going to be at home. So I'm going to be keep keeping on the pumping the videos. That's going to be a thing that happens. Uh, there'll be a lot more content coming over. Uh, these holidays in December and I'll be very happy to make any videos you make the numbers about. We'll be putting some more gameplays up on channel as well and we'll be doing some lists and tier lists. So the tier lists are probably going to be CQC weapons. We might just do a, a tier list for every weapon in the game because there has been some updates since we last did our tier lists. Most notably the weapons that were the massive S tier wins like the all. Uh, and we've obviously got to readjust our ideas on where the DBS fits in the current meta. Anyway, it's been real. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope uh, you found that crate stuff interesting. I don't know that it will help you win more games on the battlefield, but I'd love to see them start mentioning those drop rates and adjusted the drop rate, say for Famous down to 10%. In a patch note in some time in the future would be really really lovely um look after yourselves uh until next time bye for